Hi, my name is Samantha and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be making the pop-up pouch by Fat Quarter Gypsy. Let's get into it. Now, in this video, I will not be able to give you the exact measurements or pattern instructions because this is not my pattern, but I will have the pattern linked down below. Uh, I have read through the whole pattern and I have watched a video, so I think I am ready to make this. I think I'll do a good job. Uh, I've gone ahead and fused my stabilizer onto my fabric here. And for the fabric, I'm using the uh, 19 cent fat quarter that I got from Michaels. If you wanna check out that haul, I'll have that linked as well. So I need to go cut out the fabric and then I'll come back. I've got the pieces cut. Here's the circles. I know they're pretty shitty circles, so don't come at me in the comments. Uh, do not enter me in a circle cutting contest. Here's the uh, tab and then here's the body. So now I need to add on the pieces. So what comes in the kit and then if you plan to make more is you get the uh, Fat Quarter Gypsy label, which I won't use. I'm going to use my own labels. Uh, and the spring, which you need to leave the tape on so that it doesn't bust open just yet. And then the elastic to hold it closed. And so I, I already made a mistake and we'll see how it turns out. Um, I have had this um, interfacing. I'll link the uh, haul if I've got it. And when I ordered it, I made complaints that it's so annoying when you order a whole bolt of inter interfacing from Joann's, they don't label it what the interfacing is. So I swear that I bought fusible fleece in SF-101. And whenever I've used the SF-101, it compared to like tutorials I've watched, I'm like, why is mine so different? Like, it just does not look the same. Okay, I just went back and looked at my Joann's order. I have a, a Pelon Fusible 809 which is decor bond, which is not the same thing as shape wear or shape flex, I believe is what it's called. Shape flex. So that's why it's not working properly for me, but it's already on here. Mm, let's see how the project goes. I'm gonna go ahead and um, take care of the tab, the elastic and put my label on and we're gonna go ahead and baste those on. Pinned, let's baste. All basted, on to the next step. All right, in the uh, tutorial, I believe we're on step nine right now. So what I did when I turned it uh, together, I did this fancy little motion like this to get the fabric to lay flat. And then I used my chopstick and ran it across the bottom to get a nice strong point. Next, when I was doing the top stitching, I was worried about this section right here with the um, loop that it was gonna be too bulky. And uh, I was right, so my... Uh, top stitching looks pretty crappy there even though I changed to the invisible zipper foot um so that really bothers me but uh it is what it is so next we are gonna insert the spring it's the moment of truth did I make it right up to this point and uh I don't know let's try so this is the top of the project this is the bottom of the project this is where the opening is so we're gonna slide it between the layers. And I busted off one of my fingernails, yay. It's exciting. Uh, I might have to redo this whole bag. I don't know if this is gonna work. I don't wanna bust the fabric, but it's pretty tight. Uh, I'll try and use my chopstick to push it down. Uh, let me mess with it for a minute and I'll be back. All right, screw it. We're just gonna try it. Uh, if this is wrong, then I'll just have to cut the fabric to uh, get the spring out and we'll try again. But um, what I gotta do is I got a safety pin right here so I can cut the tape off the fabric and then we can add the top and bottom. I just made a mistake and I am so frustrated by this project. I just finished getting the bottom pinned in and I realized that I didn't cut the tape off of the spring. So now I have to unpin this and cut the spring. I have to say so far, I am not a fan of this project. All right, we are back to where we, uh, or when I found the mistake. And I can say with great confidence that I am not happy about this project so far. Um, but 
We're almost on the last step, so let's finish it and then I can give my full review. Okay, now this could partially be my fault because I used the wrong interface link, but I can't even get this stupid thing in here to get the needle to stitch the circle down. Like, look at this. How? And I can't squish this because this has the wire in it, so I can only use this portion. The diameter or the, the length from here from here to here is not long enough to fit under my machine. Ugh. All right, I've got it squished in there somehow. Let's see if I can even get this top stitched, or not top stitched, stitched together. I don't know, we'll see. I made it around, but I do believe that there's probably some gaps. Like I'm poking my finger around here to see if my finger pops up. Um, I think I'm gonna go around again. Uh, and you don't end up finishing these seams, which I thought I could serge, but there's definitely not enough space here. One of the videos I watched, someone uh, zigzag stitched. Um, I don't know if I have the patience for that right now. I could do that later. Uh, actually, I don't know if I could do that later once I let the spring go. I'm just gonna do a second stitch around just to make sure that the uh, spring doesn't bust through the bottom. It's done. I need to turn it right side out and then take off the safety pins. So let's see how it looks. And I went back and was looking at the pattern again to see what the um, skill level is listed as because I can guarantee you this is not a beginner friendly project. Um, it is quite difficult. Uh, not difficult to comprehend, but difficult to manage the fabric and the spring. The spring is a pain. Ugh, like right now, the fabric is caught. Okay, let me get this done. I finally got all the um, fabric. I don't know if you could tell where this top stitch is up to the top. So now it's time to take out the safety pins, pop it up a couple times, and then the, um, what is the word? The spring should, keyword should, function. Okay, all the pins are out. So far the spring has not like popped. Now, I did not take the tape off. I tried to. I tried using, like, these tweezers and, like, to pull it out, but it would not come out. Um, but I did... Oh, I can feel it coming a little loose. I did cut it open. Um, I don't know how to get it to, like, separate. Like, it's all stuck at the top. Let me mess with it for a minute. All right, I finally got, I don't know if you could tell, can you see the spring? I don't know if you can see, there, you can see it a little. So I'm like moving my finger up in between the spring to like make it release. Cause it's still coiled up a bit at the top. Pushing up and down on it. Like I said, I could have screwed this up cutting or sewing or at any spot during the project. Could be my fault that it's not working properly. Could be the interfacing that I used. Okay, I think, I think it's open. And then you take this elastic and like keep it shut. I mean, like it's a cute little like pouch. I don't really understand the need of the spring. I think that's what made the project so much more complicated. And if that wasn't in there, like it would be much easier. I want to try and make it again without the um, what was it called? Without the spring, and see if it can just stand on its own. You could still put the elastic around it. Um, this uh, what am I trying to say? This pattern I bought for $12.99 and you can buy the refills. So I don't know how much a refill is, but for $12.99 for the pattern and the spring and all that, let, let's go with that it would likely cost you six bucks. Uh, I don't know if this is worth $6. I don't know. 
if you think I did things wrong, let me know in the comments down below. If you would do something differently, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, if you haven't watched the video that is the reason why I picked this pattern, go ahead and check that out so you can tell me what pattern you'd like to see next. Um, I will likely attempt this again in the future, but not for a very long time, so don't expect to see it again. But um, that is the Fat Quarter Pop-Up Pouch by Fat Quarter Gypsy. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have a great day.